Hello viewers, it's fucking awesome. And this is my update video on my original how to set up a dedicated private server in Toxic. Many of you might know that I did release uh, my first video on how to do that. But Toxic updated the game, bringing the version of the game to volume 0.71 of the Wasabi build. And when they did that, they also updated the process on how to set up your own private dedicated server. So I felt responsible um, to set up a new video for everyone interested in doing that because my original video did get some decent amount of views. So let me go through the process that was described on the forums about the new update. First of all, you're going to want to navigate to this particular folder on my computer. It is located on Local Disk Program Files x86 Steam Steam Apps Common Toxic Toxic Servers toxic server launcher and the instructions say to double click on the bad file and run the file when you do that it's going to create a file in the same directory called server config.list just hit any key to close this window double click on the file server config.ini and it's going to bring up the editor window now this is what you're going to find in the file and what they did was they set up, I guess what we'll call variables, so that you can set up your custom servers uh, here. And the variables are map name, which is bl-foundation. That's the only map in the game right now. They're going to be adding more, so you would change this variable here when the new maps come out. Game mode. Right now, bl stands for bloodlust, and sa stands for squad assault. There's also more game modes including capture the flag and they're calling it cell capture in the game. So if you wanted capture the flag you would put CC here. Goal score, time limit, min combatants, those are the number of bots in the game that you want. Max human players, password, admin password, server name. Server name is the name of the server that the public is going to see in the server browser. You're going to want to customize that to your own uh, personal server name, something that you can give out to your friends. Okay, so I went ahead and modified it. Let me show you my modifications. Okay, here we are. Let me move this up. So here are my modifications to the file. Um, BL Foundation is the map, BL is Bloodlust, and I didn't explain this before, but if you leave it like this with uh, two double quotes, then there will be no password for the server. Of course, you would, uh, if you change that to a password, you're going to have to give it out to your friends. And then I came up with my own names for my servers, fwkawesome-bl. Now if you notice here, I added a third server and the game mode is CC for cell capture. Um, let me tell you where I found that at. This is just a side note, you don't have to do this step, um, but I just wanted to show you where it came from. If you open up the script folder and you double click on, well, actually you edit, you open the edit window for start server.bat. This is what you're going to find, start server.bat. And if you look right here, it says CC set mode equals crusade.crz cell capture. So this is an early access game. Um, they're constantly adding content. So they're already setting up for the cell capture mode. Um, I've already tried it. You can enter the game um, or the map foundation um, setting it to cell capture, but it will not play the, the actual um, cell capture mode. Uh, so, you know, I've already tried it. They haven't updated it yet and added that feature. So um, I wanted to add a third server for illustration purposes. Okay, so at this point, let me go ahead and explain the ports that need to be opened uh, for this game to work right because most of us here are running routers uh, for our internet connection so 
Each server has two ports that the game is listening on. Server number one, which is my Bloodlust server, uh, is listening on port 7777 and 27015. For each additional server, you must add five to the port number. So server number two, which is Squad Assault, is going to be listening on 7782 and 27020. Server number three is going to be Cell Capture, and that is going to be listening on port 7787 and 27025. So you can already uh, imagine that this list is going to grow because you're going to want different maps and different game modes. So you're going to have a uh, it's, this list is going to grow. You're going to have a bunch of potential servers running different maps and different game modes, and you know that's if you're into into all all that running your own personal servers. Um, okay, so let me just take a quick moment here to explain to the viewers uh, about port forwarding. So basically, log into your router, get into your firewall settings. Uh -oh. Proceed, yes. Go to port forwarding, and then basically you're going to want to add the ports that I listed. Hold on, let me show them here. Uh, oops, sorry about that. Okay, so you're going to want to add 7777 and 27015, then 7782 and 27020 7787 and 27025 now each one of these ports must be UDP not the other styles but UDP and then hit apply of course and you should be ready to uh, start your servers so let me um, let me copy my updated settings and put it into the server config file that was generated. Okay, so this file here, I want to customize it to my settings and hit save. Alright, so let me close these windows out. Uh, yes, I'll save that. And I'll save that one. So I'll just show you again what's in the file. So it's got my custom updates. Okay, so once you've got that set up, go ahead and run the server launcher bat. Now, if you wanted to run one particular server, you would enter the number and hit enter. So it would be number one for server two, number two for server two. I'm sorry, number one for server one. <laughs> number two for server two and three and so on now if you wanted to run every server in your list you just hit enter and we're gonna go ahead and run those three servers give it a moment to there it is that's the first server now the first server gave me a steam game server UID and a number so that kinda tells me that it worked successfully there is my second server with a Steam Game Server UID and a number associated with it. The second server loaded successfully. Here's the third server. And you can already tell that something else different happened. And that's telling me that uh, the game did not load correctly. There are some missing files, I, I believe. Um, they have not added cell capture to the uh, game modes as of yet. But interestingly enough, uh, when I load the game, uh, the three servers are there. So now the process would be uh, you would just go to your uh, Steam folder and load the game normally like you, like you normally would. All right, we've just entered the game. So go to multiplayer, go to join game, Bring up your server list, sort it by alphabetical order, and then look for your servers. And here we are. 
Uh, Bakken Awesome dash SA for Squad Assault. It is locked. Uh, BL for Bloodlust. There is no password on Bloodlust. And like I said, the third server did load. It says Cell Capture. Uh, let's go ahead and try to join Cell Capture and see what it says. FWK Awesome. And OK. <clears throat> so you're going to see a cutscene there. It says Cell Capture Foundation. So it's already set up for the game mode. They loaded the cutscenes. But you're not going to be able to play. The only thing I was able to do is enter it in spectator mode. Okay. So that was a quick tutorial on how to set up your own private custom servers on Toxic. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if it was helpful, helpful to you, please hit the like button. Please leave comments. Let me uh, know what you think about my videos. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so now for more great videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time.